So I suppose it, like, the really important thing about the programme is that it's mutual benefit. So it definitely benefits the students who come on the programme and we see them increasing in confidence and gaining skills and being ex you know, exposed to a whole side of life that they wouldn't otherwise have access to. My name is Pat O'Connor, I'm Head of School of Social Sciences, Law and Education in Technological University Dublin. I was involved in setting up the uh, Learning Together programme uh, with Daughters of Charity back in 2008-2009. So one of the unique aspects of the programme at the time was that the students, um, the learners, would be integrated with the greater student population and that was a challenge to a certain extent from the point of view of the openness of lectures to allow students with intellectual disability into classrooms with other students who are on different paths and different tracks. Um, one of the unexpected or unintended outcomes was that there was a positive impact not only on the learners from, from with intellectual disability but also with the, the students they worked with and with the lecturers and the wider college uh, community as well. My name is Deirdre Bonner. Um, I'm a lecturer here in um, TU Dublin in Blanchardstown. I um, primarily lecture in the social care program um, and I'm also very involved in the Learning Together program um, and I've been coordinating that program for the last four years. Um, and I would take a number of social care groups, so different tutorial groups, but the tutorial groups where I have the Learning Together program students in there as well I've better attendance, um, people are coming, engaged, ready to go, even things like um, if we're doing a drama activity and sometimes our social care students are a little bit hesitant and oh I don't know if I can do that um, and the Learning Together students just get up and go for it and they bring the rest with them. Um, it, it, it has been an overwhelmingly positive experience, um, everybody benefits from it, um, the students engage with their fellow, fellow students, they become integrated with them, they, they start friendships. And then they go from class and they go for lunch together or they go for a coffee together and then they're coming back into class. And um, you know, just those relationships just develop in a very natural way. I'm Louise Kavanagh, the Deputy President for TU Dublin Students' Union here in the Blanchetown campus. So like in the heart of Blanchetown, inclusivity is what we stand for. Um, the students from the Learning Together programme bring an extra element to the student body. It's amazing to see them, especially in the common room. They come in, they own the place, there's no shyness, um, they love the pool, they love getting involved in all the different activities that happen, and it makes my day coming into work and seeing just that type of student being able to really grow and develop themselves. It's taught me an awful lot about acceptance, about inclusion, showing that these people deserve and have an absolute right to be on campus. So my name is Sinead Dunn and I'm the Senior Manager here in TU Dublin for Access and Outreach. So I really feel that it's not enough for universities to have equality, diversity and inclusion policies. While they're very important, it's also important to have, uh, to actively engage a culture of inclusion. So having students uh, from marginalised groups, such as students with intellectual disabilities, that helps to create that culture and uh, create that positive learning environment that we, we need. I am Amy Fulcher. So my name is Lee. My name is Romali. My name is Eugene. My name is Daryl. My name is Keen. I usually go to college in T Dublin. My favourite module is P D P. It's like personal development planning. My favorite part of P D P was um probably a role play. Uh, P D P was amazing. Yeah, and like, like it's about your goals that you want to do in your life, maybe for your future. So. In the future, if you really want to do something, don't ever give up. Don't even give up. Keep your head up high. Tell yourself this, like, I can do it. First, I came in college. I I went into a sports hall and I signed in for music society. 
So I auditioned and I got in. So they all really great friends in music society. So my favorite module was creative studies because I love art and dancing is the most favorite thing I love to do. So I joined the dance this idea. Dancing is great crack. I do a bit of Michael Jackson and hip hop, robotic. the Learning Together program. So it's a two-year program and um, it's kind of split into two halves. So for one half of the program they do a module called Personal Development Planning which is all about kind of where they want to get to um, and how they need to get there. So it's about you know setting goals whether that be around uh, future employment, whether it be about you know improving their independent living skills. Um, it's really about kind of finding out where do you want to get to and how can we support you? What plans do we need to put in place to get you to there? So that's kind of half of the course uh, and that's done um, with the students in a group on their own. The other half of the programme then, the students take modules that are already running in the university. So we pick specifically uh, modules that have a, quite a practical focus to them um, and the students uh, become part of the the class group, uh, the tutorial group, so um, and they take full part in that tutorial. My favorite module is horticulture and creative studies. We water in plants, yeah, yeah outside, yeah. We make compost, yeah, we do compost, and we make like make all different stuff, yeah. My favorite thing in college was drama and music as well. One of my model is. The hot call the model. I, I find it art very interesting. Ooh, hey, Bob, blend all different plants. And I, I, I blend them in inside of the hot call the building and I bend them out to the polydonal to cast a little bit of it in them. Uh, my favorite module was Christ Holy. We did like art. They also do work experience and they do a period of work experience on campus with areas such as the, the areas that strike me are the library and uh, they work with the caretakers as well um, they do things like the post and they, they also always get on very well and have very positive experience but the positive experience is not just for the learners it's for everybody um, and that's one of the things that I think has been really worthwhile about the programme. I did two work streams. I did the uh, post here and I went to I went to sports center. Yeah, it gave me loads of boosts and confidence. I worked in the Lynx Cafe. I was working with Ger Geraldine and it's just lovely on a Friday so. Um for my work experience I did some office work. I did my interview. And the other people were so nice, so I made a friends in work. I am still working in the now. Yeah, in, in relation to, to graduation, initially this was a challenge because uh, normally uh, st only students who are uh, graduating with a, a major award, so you're talking about a degree or a higher certificate or a master's or a doctor's, actually graduate on, on the graduation day. Uh, some some universities call it commencements, um, and there was initial resistance to that. Um, that was overcome, however, and uh, the students now graduate uh, with the, the student body, the mass, the, the mass of the student body. So uh, on graduation days, there will be a place for our, our students, our learners with intellectual disability. And it is always a, it, it doesn't happen at every graduation, because the students go on, a, on an 18 month uh, cycle. So it's every second gra ma main graduation is normally in November. Um, there is, there's the, the roof is raised 
when the intellect the students graduate because everybody knows them and um, it's good to see. My first memory really of that, that group was at the conferring ceremony at graduation where all of the staff and students attended. We had a packed hall to see our first graduates from the Daughters of Charity group and it really there was an eruption in, in the hall of applause and a real sense of you know, uh, pride, staff and students had a sense of pride in the university and it gave everyone a real sense of belonging. So it wasn't just about the students themselves and, you know, their achievement. It really created that inclusive environment and positivity. So that's my memory, really, the outstanding memory. And I'd like to see that expanded with the new programme. I graduated in 2019. Yeah, we were like, we were the loudest, got clapped and everything. I all had up and down at my graduation and I really like it. I never feel so proud of myself, I graduated with really it. Through part four, what we would like to do is we'd like to expand that across uh, the university to all parts of the university. But also one of the steps that I need, think needs to happen is that we need to look at uh, what the students do when they leave um, TU Dublin and they go on to have productive uh, and uh, engaged lives uh, both economically and socially. So part four, phase one, is to look at universal design across the whole university and to see what we're already very, very good at and have much experience of and then to look for gaps where we can increase our inclusion for all. Uh, I'm Margaret Kinsler and I'm a lecturer in TU Dublin and um, I'm also Universal Design Champion. So uh, the HEA um, have a series of inclusion and widening participation projects called PATH. So we have PATH 1, 2, 3, but PATH 4 is specifically looking at Universal Design and also the, the piece of, of universal design for students with intellectual disabilities. So as universal design champion and as a lecturer in universal design, um, my remit is quite broad, but in terms of the Learning Together program, um, it's a unique opportunity to take the framework and apply it to the Learning Together um, program and, and increase all opportunities and possibilities for students and staff um, and remove barriers. Um, belongingness is, is a really important thing from my perspective and to see not only that the bright people belong but everybody belongs and we see that with the, with, with, with the Learning Together program. The students, it dawns on students um, as it dawned on me and a lot of people, that they belong, you know, and they should be there and they should be included and they have a positive kind of uh, contribution to make to society and to life. And I suppose social care students are telling me about the benefits um, of having these students in their class. So I would often say to students as we're coming towards the end of the module, what was your most significant learning from this module? And invariably people will say to me, having the guys in our class, you know, that they're learning that people with intellectual disabilities are the same as anybody else. They have the same struggles. Nobody wants to get up early in the morning and do that commute into college. Um, they have the same kind of enjoyment about college life. They have the same, you know, just that there's so much similarities. And so people start the module thinking, oh, that group are quite different to us. And within a couple of weeks, they're going, no, do you know what? We're all the same. We're all facing the same things and, and dealing with the same issues. Thank you.